It's quite simple. What kind of super weapon would we get if all the weapons for a class and their slot were compiled together? This video aims to explore exactly that, so let's see what horrible contraptions we would concoct. And before we begin, another huge thank you to Alex and Mr. Light for their work on the models and renders for this episode. Starting off with this primary is the Crusader's Oversodger. The thing that we've done for this weapon is we've combined the needles and the crossbow together since there was no right click function. Now left click shoots needles and the right click will shoot crossbow bolts. The positives are that, of course, that damage increases over distance for bolts as well as healing to allies. Uber charge percentage increases movement speed by 20%, the weapon will reload automatically when it is not active, and it heals 3 points on hit. This also applies to the bolt, but that is negligible. However, the downsides are as follows. There is a health regeneration that is lowered by 2 HP per second, of course there are no headshots, there is 75% less maximum primary ammo on the wearer, and needles do 15% less damage as well as crossbow bolts. Being able to combine the utilities of both the Crusader and the Needle Guns is amazing, as you become faster while you heal while you have more uber, which means that the more you land your shots with the bolts, the faster you will go too. But the 75% ammo penalty means that for needles, you're going to have 39 needles rounding up. That is the total amount of ammo that you can carry. That is less than a full clip by one needle. You are still within relative danger if you are caught off guard, but at least now you have the needle benefits to weaken the opponent, hopefully enough to turn it into your favor. It is not a great combination of weapons, but it is still a very powerful one, as you give the utility of the crossbow to needle guns, which makes it very viable for staving off potential threats very briefly. And at least it does technically have random crits. I wouldn't count on that weapon to get you out of any dangerous situations, but at least you have slightly more of a chance than before. Now, the medic secondary, or his medigun, will be a far more menacing tool of death and destruction. Even the name is something that would be proud of. Behold, the quick critzenator! Here is what the uber charge will grant. The Uber Charge will grant a 100% critical chance and increases healing by 300% and grants immunity to movement impairing effects. It provides a 2.5 second resistance bubble that blocks 75% of base damage and of course 100% of crit damage of the selected type and it grants medic and patient 2.5 seconds of guaranteed invulnerability. Now wait a minute, everything is only at 2.5 seconds in duration? Why is this you might ask? Well. Well, that is because the vaccinator's unique segmented uber mechanic sparses out the ubers, but in return you now have the ultimate flash uber. The resistance to damage for the uber itself is negligible considering that you're invulnerable and immune to knockback, and the knockback won't matter since most combined weapons in the series don't have it except for like the scout I think, but anyways this flash uber will not only grant brief immunity but also critical damage and heal you and the target to maximum overheal. That is insanely powerful, and considering you now have more options for how that uber is used since you only need 25% charge per use, the gameplay dynamic changes drastically. But we need to keep in mind the positives and negatives before we delve into it anymore. The positives are that there is a 102% uber charge rate increase and a 40% increased heal rate. It will also mirror blast jumps and shield charges of patients, and if you press your reload key you will cycle through the resist types, which of course resist 10% damage to that selected damage type. You will also match the speed of your target. However, negatively there is 50% less overheal, there is a 33% decreased uber charge rate on overhealed patients, so a, only a 69% rate, and there is a 66% less overheal build rate. And finally, Uber Charge, when it is active, medic and patient will not be able to capture a point, push the cart, or carry the intelligence. The main thing to keep in mind here is that the game balance shifts from Uber building for one big push to Uber management for much smaller, focused pushes. Because the enemy medic is going to make sure to focus on you and to make sure that your charges are wasted or key players on your team are taken down. 
While you can build up enough charge for big pushes and getting the bar all the way up, it is going to be quite difficult in the long run. Your patients as a medic are also much more susceptible to death, given that their health cannot be increased past their base health by much unless they are under the effects of a mini uber. Basically, overhealing is pretty much out of the window unless you're pocketing that player for a very long time, and even then, it will not do much to turn the tide of battle. But each target that you have can also be protected from danger a little bit from the switching of damage resistances, which is a nice little bonus for keeping them alive if you're good on the switches. There is a lot more to micromanage here and would make being a medic quite stressful, but the risks would be very much worth the reward. And finally, his melee is pretty simple, but still no less awesome of a tool. Please welcome the uber solemn Ampusaw. This weapon will allow you to see an enemy's health, and when it is active, it will give a plus three health regeneration boost. On taunt, a healing effect is applied to all nearby teammates, which is uh, 25 health up to 75 health per second, depending on, you know, when they've uh, been in combat or not. The user retains at most 20% of a full uber charge meter on death, and finally on hit, 25% uber charge is added. The negatives of this weapon are that there is a 30% slower firing speed, it does 20% less damage, and it lowers your maximum health by 10 points, so you'd have only 140 points of HP on the wearer. Given the benefits that this weapon provides, it's quite the boon to be able to keep uber and see enemy health and gain uber charge, and have an increased health regen since the blood soldier takes some of that away. It is a good tool for escaping combat, but that slower firing speed will definitely make it trickier to land hit, trickier to land hit, sorry, and puts your survivability in melee situations at risk. That it also does less damage means that you'll have to find an opponent at really low health if you want to engage. Since you can see everyone's health though, it's much easier to determine if you want to stay in that fight or not. Given that at full uber you should have increased movement speed, you should be able to outrun anything that isn't a scout if you don't want to fight. In total, the medic becomes a much more micromanaged class. As he does gain more options for healing and defending himself simultaneously, the lack of overheal means that unless directly pocketing, he's going to be spending a lot more time swapping in between players. The micro uber system for both medics provides a new dynamic of counter ubering as it becomes a battle to see who can out with the other in terms of pocketing players. The guaranteed crits means that there is a higher chance of players who aren't being ubered dying and that means that a medic will have to choose his patients very wisely. It would be interesting to see how players could get the upper hand in these situations. That being said, thank you all so much for watching and please stay tuned because more will be coming your way. With only two classes left, we are nearing the finish line for this series and I'm glad for everybody that has stuck around thus far. So again, thank you all so much and I will see you guys later. You know how I say nobody would be crazy enough to try and duplicate my set because of how expensive it would be? I was wrong! Please congratulate RNG Smiles who has a Nebula Translator and a Miami Knights Antlers and now just needs a Polar Pullover Orbiting Planets to completely copy me. Well, I mean, it's not a Phononaut, but it's, I mean, it's close enough. But why? Just, <laughs> why, man? That's, I mean, that's insanely good. Congratulations, you're almost there, but just why? And consider letting me know your own awesome accomplishments in the Space Barber Steam group. A link is in the description below. And if you like what I do and you want to support me, please consider checking out my marketplace.tf page or donating to me. A link to my shop and my trade offer is in the description as well. All of my items in the shop are gifted or crafted by me as proof of support. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and please stay tuned because more will be coming your way. Bye bye.